Hi, my name is Dr. Randy Papke, and I'm a biology teacher here at SWIC. And right now I'm going to teach you how to use the jeweler's loops that come with your biology kit. Uh, the jeweler's loops are basically just um, little magnifying glasses. And in biology, we tend to use, in like the classroom, we would use a, a dissecting microscope. But for this, we're not really going to be dissecting anything this semester, but we are going to be needing to look at some things fairly close up. So this is what the jeweler's loop looks like. When it's put away properly, it looks like this little teardrop shape. And when you want to open it up, you just slide that open and you have the, the loop. It's, the loop is spelled L-O-U-P-E, uh, but it's just a magnifying glass. So this might come in a box that you might have to take it out of, but it will definitely come in a case. And when you're done with it, it does need to go back into the case. So how do you use a jeweler's loop or a magnifying glass? Uh, there's a couple of different ways that people use them. And when you're young, you're probably taught that you hold whatever object you're looking at. In this case, I'm just going to look at the, the, the loop box that it came in. And um, I'm going to do what people normally do, which is they hold it kind of a little bit far away from their face, and they take the, mic the magnifying glass and they go backwards and forwards. Maybe they'll like wink one eye. You know, that's fine if you want to close one eye. Um, and, and, um, and just look at it like that. And that's definitely one way to do it. Um, a little hard to hold steady. And sometimes for people like me who have bad eyes, also a little bit like, you know, um, wonky, right? There's a, there's a slightly better way to do it. And it, by the way, it's perfectly fine if you want to do it this way. You just hold your object steady and you move the loop back and forth until you get it into focus. Um, if you move it a little too far away, everything will look upside down. That's perfectly normal. You want it to look right side up when you're holding your loop across away from the object that you're looking at. You don't want it right on top of it or it won't magnify. So a little bit away. Another way to do this is to hold the magnifying loop up to your eye and then put the thing that you're looking up right next to that. Both ways are perfectly fine. Some ways, sometimes one way is a little easier, sometimes another way is a little easier. For me, I'm wearing glasses. I can do this with my glasses on, or I can take my glasses off. It'll work both ways. So for now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put the, the magnifying glass up to your eye. It's really close. Some people feel it's uncomfortably close, but it's going to be really close. So it's going to be, I'm actually resting this up against my glasses, and then I'm winking one eye, right? And then I'm pulling the box up close until it gets in focus, like that. And that works okay. Um, it does work better without the glasses on. So I'm going to put that right up to my eye, and I'm going to move this. And you can see just how very close it is to my eye. It's not touching my eye. It's not touching my eye, but it is very close to my eye. And I can see the word loop um, at 10x, 10x magnification, 10 times normal eye magnification. And that's how you use a jeweler's loop. We have a 10x magnification, and we have a 30x magnification. So um, one of the things that you're going to be asked to do is to look at a ruler and to see how far you can see with the 10x versus the 30x magnification. So uh, just kind of be aware that you will be using this in, in your labs a couple of times throughout the semester. Again, when you're not using it, it just goes into the case. You have to bend it a little bit, close that case, and put it away.